hunting that dreaded gobbler that we all dread to face every turkey season. We're going to be talking about that dreaded gobbler in this video, so you stay tuned. you've heard me talk about different types of gobblers and their behavior and how you hunt each gobbler effectively. You heard me talk about the roadrunner gobbler. You've heard me talk about the push and pull gobbler. But you've also heard me talk about the dreaded sanctuary gobbler, what I call the sanctuary gobbler. And out of all the turkeys that I face during a spring season and over the years of turkey hunting, this is the one I dread the most. This is the dreaded gobbler, I call him. And this is a gobbler that he'll gobble, he's very vocal, uh, but he's just not moving and we've all encountered that ain't we he's either on the neighbors over there Usually he's on the neighbors if I'm on public or I'm on private and he's over on the property I can't hunt he's over there across the fence line uh, Or maybe he's on a, a property you can hunt But because of the terrain and the openness of it you just can't move because he's gonna see it And it's a tough turkey to hunt when they slam the brakes on and they've already gotten their strut zone in their sanctuary And they ain't moving but he's vocal he's gobbling he you know he's responding to you and he's out there two, 250 you know 300 yards sometimes and every time you're hitting that box call or every time you're hitting that slate call or or your mouth call you know he gobbles back at you and it's almost like you're thinking man he wants man he's he's fired up he's double gobbling i mean i've even heard him double gobble you know and the old myth is if they double gobble or they triple gobble they're gonna come running in and that ain't always the case because i've heard many sanctuary turkeys double gobble at me and still not move and he'll still be there an hour later in the same spot so how do you kill this sanctuary turkey well we've talked about different methods over the years but i want to tell you about a method uh that sometimes helps me uh and i've done it a few times over the years and i remember back in 1998 if i if i can remember correctly uh we had in our little town we had a, a, a turkey seminar and uh, one of the great turkey hunters of our uh, generation in the in the 90s I would say especially Tom Stuckey uh, came to our little town and did a turkey seminar and I'll never forget about him talking about this method and I was just a young turkey hunter at the time didn't know a whole lot but I'll never forget what he said in this particular seminar and over the years I've applied it and learned how to put my own spin on it and it's helped me kill a few gobblers and, and and especially when i when i face that sanctuary bird so here's the method what i call it's what i that's what what i call getting on is getting on the right nerve okay getting on that gobbler's right nerve in order to break him from coming all the way off of his sanctuary to break to come to find you now here's how this method works what you're going to do is your and you got to make sure first of all this is the most important you got to make sure that turkey's still a safe way away you can't be doing this if he's less than 100 yards or if he's up for 100 and, you know 50 yards and he's kind of moving here and then he moves here and then he goes back you can't be doing this you got to make sure he's staying in the same general area and i like to i like to at least let him be at least 200 yards away but what you're going to do is you're going to be that hen that's moving you're going to be that hen that's uh, that's on the move so to be on the move you can't be calling back here and saying at the same spot at the same tree with your back up against the tree or in the same blind you can't be calling in the same spot you've got to get up and move so what you're going to do is you're going to paint this picture it's like an artist okay you're, you're painting a picture and what you're doing is you're moving toward this turkey now again make sure he's a good ways off so he don't see you or that you don't run into him while you're doing your moving but i want to go at least 70 to 80 yards toward this turkey i want to go 70 to 80 yards uh and if he's up on a hill like if he's up on a ridge or something I'll, sometimes i'll go all the way to the bottom of the hill if he's 100 yards away i'll go all the way to the bottom of his of the hill where he's just over the hill and i know he's not moving i'll go as close as i can without it you know being and being safe that is and i'll just cut at him and i'll yelp at him and and i'll get fired up because what in nature the hen goes to the gobbler okay and you've heard me say over the years it's really kind of a bad deal to be calling going to a gobbler 
gobbler. And that's true. But in this situation, we're going to kind of break that rule and we're going to call going to this gobbler. And we're going to call kind of pushing toward him and get and letting him think that we're coming to him all right that's the step one we're going to get if it's, if it's a fence line if it's an old fence row walk down the fence now don't be running down through there don't be going fast but just kind of move around and be yelping as you're going down the fence You're just being that hen that's going to him. If he gobbles, then, you know, just keep yelping. Just keep soft yelping and then maybe get a little bit louder. Be that excited hen that's sort of pushing to him. Because what's he thinking? Oh, yep, she's coming to me. You know, that's what's supposed to happen. I'm up here gobbling. I'm up here telling her where I'm at. She's coming to me. Once you get to 70, 80 yards or however far that you can feel like you're able to push it forward, you're going to then turn around and go back to where you first set up, where you had your spot cleared out or that tree where you set up to work this turkey. 70, 80, 90 yards back. You want to go back to that same tree and you're going to start pushing back. Don't call. You're going to go back to that tree. You're going to sit down in your original setup and then you're going to start calling. All right, you're going to start doing the same calling. So what's, what's he going to do? Now the hen's leaving. Now she's going that way. She's going away from him. So what happens? He starts getting desperate a little bit. You know, wait, she's, she's going back further because he hears you going away from him. Okay, you're still sitting there. And then once you cut at him and once you start getting a little bit excited to him after you went back to your original setup, you're just going to go quiet. This is the important part of this. You've got to go quiet. You, I don't care how much he gobbles back at you. I don't care how much fire, fired up he gets at you. If he's still in the sanctuary, it ain't going to do you a speck of good to keep calling because he's just going to keep staying there. you got to go quiet and you got to be patient. Patience kills turkeys. Remember that. Patience always kills turkeys. Give it about 30, 40, 50 minutes. You know, I usually give it about 30, 35 minutes. I'll go quiet. If he's still gobbling, you know, and he's still in the same place, uh, you know, I'll get up and do the same thing again. You know, I may do this routine four or five times going down to him and back. As long as he's in a safe place, as long as he hasn't moved and he's in a good location where he's not going to see you, that's the important part. Now, once you go quiet, if you have to do this three or four times, and this may be a two or three hour battle for a sanctuary gobbler, but it's worth it, I promise you. But once you do it three or four times, you go quiet when you get back to your original setup. Give a few calls when you get back to your original setup. Sit down, go quiet, and then just be patient. When he moves, and he may do a search gobble, or he may gobble two or three times, you know, once he moves just to find out where you're at. Because you've got on his last nerve. You have pushed toward him, then you've pulled back. Then you've, you know, you've pushed, pulled, and then you come back. So it's almost like you're going backwards and forwards, trying to get to him, but you can't get to him. And that happens in nature, don't it? You know, a lot of things hangs turkeys up from really getting to their destination. You, you may be that hen that just can't get through a fence. You may be that hen that just can't get through an obstacle or something. All right. I don't know. I don't know what goes on in a turkey's brain, but he knows you're getting close to him, but then you're pulling back. So what happens? In his mind, that hen wants to come, but then she leaves him and goes back, and she's way back here where you originally set up. Many, many times you're going to find a gobbler that will leave his sanctuary after three or four, maybe times of that, maybe one time. Who knows? Each gobbler is different, but once that gobbler gets a, uh, you get on his last nerve, you get on that right nerve, you know what we're talking about. When you get on that gobbler's nerve he'll break and many times he'll leave that sanctuary and finally start coming in and when he starts gobbling he starts getting closer you can't be up moving back and forth anymore you got to sit there and just be patient and wait and just i know it's going to be tempting to call i know you want to call but don't call because why because the moment you call and he's 100 yards out there he's 120 yards and, and you're getting excited because he's closer now when you start doing this If you start doing stuff like that, what's he going to do? He's going to throw the brakes on and he's going to hang up and he's going to make an, he's going to make himself another sanctuary. You can't do that. You've got to let him come looking for you. You've got to let him come searching for you. And I know that's hard. Believe me, I know that is hard to do. But if you'll just be patient and don't call until that turkey gets up in your 
uh, sight until you actually see that turkey getting in gun range then once he gets close enough in gun range and you need to move him or maybe he's in strut and you need to get his head up or maybe he's just down there you know 60 70 yards and maybe he, you need that little coaxing all right you know then maybe if you find if you see that, that that you need to call to get him moved in a position to kill, kill him then you can maybe give a soft little under your breath type calling just to convince him there's a hen up there. But the main part of this is you've got to move back and forward. Just walk down. When you move, go quiet. You know, make sure you're not stepping on nothing that's, that's noisy. Make sure that you're approaching that turkey that's in that sanctuary. Make sure you're approaching him really quiet, really soft. And then you're going to go right back to your original setup, go back toward him, cut, get excited, be that hen that's wanting to come, and then you're turning right back and going away from him. And I'm telling you, after four or five times, or maybe two times, who knows, that sanctuary bird that's so dreaded and so hateful and so aggravating to hunt, many times that'll be on, it'll get on his last nerve and cause him to break from his sanctuary because he can't take it no more. He just can't take it. And I've seen them come off of them sanctuary uh, spots, get down to where, I, where I'm at, and come right in looking for me, and me take him home. My first Ohio gobbler I ever shot years ago, that's exactly how I killed this turkey. He was hung up on the neighbors over there, and I just started moving back and forward, back and forward. He was like 200 yards away, and I just kept moving back and forward. I did it like four times in about a two hour period and he finally broke from the neighbors come all the way to me cross the fence and come right to me and I wound up taking him home with me you can do the same thing the sanctuary bird is a hard bird to kill but with little bitty coaxing and little bitty tricks you can do the same make thing make sure to subscribe to this channel make sure to hit that bell notification so you'll be notified when Dell Outdoors uploads another video we'll be uploading videos just like this one for the for the next few weeks and then when turkey season gets here we'll be taking you on some turkey hunts so you don't want to miss any action and any information that we can give you here and also check out all of our great sponsors in the links in the description below check out all of the new products that's coming on the market this year and also my brand new call for spring fever custom calls the little sly the hybrid call that you don't want to be without i'm telling you this thing is going to kill some turkey so check them out at springfevercustomcalls.com and all the other great calls and my signature calls there as well and you won't be disappointed i promise you and we'll see you in the next video